We're given a rectangle. Diagonal is 15 centimeters long. We know one side is increasing at the rate of 2 times the square root of 5 centimeters per second. We want to find the rate of change of the area when that side is 10 centimeters long. So we don't know what the base and the height is. So what we're going to say is the base is 10, I'm sorry, base is x. And so by the Pythagorean theorem, this is the square root of 225 minus x squared. Okay, so we took care of this. Now one side, we, it doesn't say which side. So we're just gonna assume the side x just to make the algebra work nicely. So one side is increasing, that means derivative at the rate of 2 root 5 centimeters per second. So second here meaning time. So that's just going to be dx over dt is 2 root 5. So at this point, we took care of this. We want to find the rate of change. So that's the derivative of the area. So that's going to be da over dt. When that side, the side we chose is x, what well, that side is 10. Okay, so let's figure this out. First, we need to find the formula for the area. The area is the base times the height. Okay. And we need to take the derivative of the area with respect to time. Okay, so for this, we have to do an implicit differentiation because the area function only depends on x. And we want to take the derivative with respect to t, the time. So let's do, do the product rule. First, we take the derivative of x with respect to t, and then multiply by the square root 225 minus x squared. Plus, we want to take the derivative now of two, the square root of 225 minus x squared. So I'm just going to rewrite that as 225 minus x squared to the 1 half power. Bring down the exponent keep the inside the same, subtract one in the exponent, and multiply by the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of 225 minus x squared will be negative 2x, and because we're taking the derivative with respect to t, we also need dx over dt. So now let's simplify this. This looks very messy. Well, we know that both of these have a dx over dt, so I'm just gonna factor that out. So the first factor I could pull out is the square root of 225 minus x squared. And then here I have negative two and two here. So that's gonna be negative one, that cancels. And then we have x. Oh, and I also forgot to multiply by the first function, x here. All right. So this whole thing is the derivative of the square root. So don't forget to multiply by the first function for the product rule. So it would be x times x would give us x squared. And the square root will be on the bottom. Now we need to plug in what x and dx over dt are. So that is actually what is given for us. We know that dx over dt was 2 root 5. And x we want to see when it's 10. So we're going to plug that in. So we have 2 root 5 out here. And then we have the square root of 225 minus, oops, that's, that should be 100. So that will be root 125 minus 100 over root 125. So it's 2 root 5. And actually what we should do is multiply the root 5 in here. Okay, so we're going to distribute that. So that'd be 2 times the square root of 625 minus 2 root 5 times 100. So it'd be 200 root 5 over root 125. The square root of 20, 625 is 25. And then we have 
uh, we can divide the root 5 with the root 125 as just root 25 in the bottom. So now I can multiply the 2 and then 25, and then the square root of 25 is just 5. So it's 50 minus 200 over 5 is 40, so that's going to be 10. So what we found here is a derivative of the area. The area has units centimeters squared, but because we took the derivative with respect to time, we need to divide by seconds. So this is my answer.